Hi guys, today we're going to be working on using the break apart strategy to add and how we can use the break apart strategy to help us add three digit numbers. Before we begin, stop and check do you have your materials, your guided notes, a pencil, a highlighter? If you need to grab your materials, pause the video now. And remember, if you don't understand something, write a question mark next to it in your notes so we can go over it in class tomorrow. Now before we begin, we're going to have to go over a vocabulary word that we've already learned, expanded form. And that means you're breaking apart a number to show the value of each digit. Let's look at a few examples. If I'm working with the number 742, I have to show what each digit is worth. So I look at my first digit that's in the hundreds place, 7. So it's 700. Then I look at my tens place and there's a 4. So four tens is the same as 40. And I look at my ones place, it's a two, so I have a two. So 742 is the same thing as 700 plus 40 plus two. Let's try another one. 609. First I look at my hundreds place and I see a six. So 600. Then I look at my tens place, there's a zero. So I'm just going to write zero. And last is my ones place, and there's a nine, so I have nine ones. So 609 is the same thing as 600 plus zero plus nine. And for what we're doing today, I like to put those zeros for the tens place because it'll make it easier when I'm adding numbers that I'm keeping that place value there. And remember, if you aren't sure what the value of a digit is, you can make a place value chart to help you. So to help us use expanded form to add numbers, we want to write the number in expanded form, then add each place value, remembering to carry, and then we're going to add each place values together. So let's see what that looks like. If I'm trying to add 152 plus 436, my first step is to write the number in expanded form. So 152 in expanded form. I look first at the hundreds place and I see a 1. So that's 100. Then I look at my tens place. I see a 5, so that's 50. Then I look at my ones place, and there's a 2, so I have a 2. So 152 is the same thing as 100 plus 50 plus 2. Then I look at my other number, 436. In the hundreds place, I have a 4, so that's the same as 400. In the tens place, I have a 3 which is the same thing as 30, and in the ones place I have a 6, so 6. Now I want to add each place value. So I'm going to start with my ones place, the 2 and the 6, and I add 2 plus 6 equals 8. Then I'm going to add my tens, 50 plus 30 equals 80. Then I add my hundreds, 100 plus 400 equals 500. So I have 500 plus 80 plus 8. If you need to, you can write this vertically. 500 plus 80 plus 8, and then add it up. 588. So 152 plus 436 equals 588. Let's try one more. 459 plus 213 and I follow the same steps. First, I write the number in expanded form. So 459, I look at my hundreds place, and I have 400. Then I look at my tens place, there's a five, so that would be 50. Then I look at my ones place, it's a nine, so I write nine. So 459 is equal to 400 plus 50 plus nine. My next number is 213. First I look at the hundreds place. There's a 2. So that means 200. Then I look at my tens place. There's a 1. So that means 10. Then I look at my ones place. I see a 3. So I have 3 ones. So 213 is equal to 200 plus 10 plus 3. My next step is to use this to add each place value. 
First I start with my ones, 9 plus 3, and that equals 12. But I can't keep a two-digit number in the ones place. And I know that 12 is made of 10 and 2, so the 2 will stay in the ones place, and I'm going to move the 10 over to my tens place. And then I add 10 plus 50 plus 10, and I get 70. Then I go to my hundreds place, 400 plus 200 equals 600. So my answer is 600 plus 70 plus 2. And if I need help, remember, I can write it vertically. So that means I'm writing it going up and down. 600 plus 70 plus 2. I add up my 1, 0 plus 0 plus 2, 0 plus 7, and then bring down the 6, and I get 672. 459 plus 213 equals 672. Now you try. Answer the two questions on your notes. Remember, if you forget what a digit is worth, make a place value chart. So here we have an example, 573. There's a 5 in the hundreds place, so it's worth 500. The 7 in the tens place is worth 70. And the 3 in the ones place is worth 3. So 573 is equal to 500 plus 70 plus 3. See everyone tomorrow.